stage. And obviously, this is the area where we're creating, and this is what we'll put into an HTML page. 那么，要跟各位先介绍我们的这个界面啊。首先看到这个白色的部分，基本上就是我们在这个上面来工作，这就是我们放在 HTML 画面上的那一个我们工作的那个平台。So over on the side over here, I've got the properties panel, and this shows me whatever the properties are of the element that I currently have selected. So it changes as I select different elements. 啊，接下来我们看到这个 property 就是属性啊，基本上就是我。所选择的这个 element 它的属性，所以会依据我所选的 element 不一样，这个 property 所呈现出来的数字也会不一样，因为它属性是不一样的。Across on this side is the elements panel, and I'll come back to that a little bit later and explain that a little bit better. But obviously below that we've got a library where there's assets, symbols, fonts. You'd expect this if you came from something like Flash. And then down the bottom I've got the timeline where I can animate all of my content. 所以刚才看到说在啊右上角是这个是我们所有的 elements， 然后下面呢是有我的 library 啊，这两个我想大家如果是有 flash 的背景的话，应该是非常熟悉的。然后在这个中间这个横的这个就是我的这个时间轴。Cool. Okay, so I'm going to start off. Um, I've just got a few tools up here. This is very very basic tools. I'm just going to choose the rounded rectangle tool. I'm going to select that. I'm just going to draw a rounded rectangle on the screen, maybe increase the corner radius, change the background colour, maybe add, um, add a border to it and increase the size. 上面呢是我的这个工具啊，那工具的话，假设我要画一个呃四方形，好了，那我就画出一个四方形。我可以选择说我要啊把它的这个呃这个尺寸变大啊，选择它的底色，或者说我外面加一个框，或者说我的边边不是这个啊尖的，而是这个圆形的边，我可以在我左边这个地方 property 这个地方来选择。So just a little trick here, what I've actually drawn there is well in fact. Yeah, what I've actually drawn there is just a div, and all of these controls that I changed over on the side here is just CSS. So it's a div with rounded corners, with a background colour, with a border, with a solid. And in fact, if you look at the top here, I've got some little prizes to give away these really cool keyrings. I, in a moment, I'm going to ask anyone who can tell me what the difference is between those three objects. 好，我们先看我这个画的四方形哦。虽然我画了一个四方形，然后改变这属性，看到数字的跳动比较复杂。其实上我这四方只是一个 div。那么在这个呃左手边这个我们这些属性在 properties 的地方呢，其实就是 CSS 而已啊、哦，所以是其实很简单的。那待会呢我们会有一个有奖问答，我们上面有三个框，一个四方形，然后一个四方形是比较圆边的，一个是椭圆形的。我想问大家说这三个是什么东西？那有有奖问。So I've got a key ring. Anyone who can tell me the difference between those three? It's a trick question. Exactly. They're all the same. They're all this. It's just the roundness. That's the only thing. Because look, if you zoom into this one here, I select this. And I go and change the rounded corners. Oh, it's a square. <laughs> They're all the same. It's just rounded corners. Yeah. Okay. So I've got a prize for you, which somehow I'm going to get to you. But if I throw it, I'm going to hit someone else. <laughs> so I'll give it to you after. Okay. Yes, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of these ones here. Yeah. Trick question. Basically three. Tools. They're really just one tool. But anyway. So you can see that three tools. Actually, they're just one. Oh, just that one. The 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 different. Now remember, when I have this selected, all of these properties on the side here, and there's a huge amount of properties on the side here. They go down forever. There's all of these things. It's just CSS properties of those particular objects. So I'm just going to close a few of these up. And I'm going to animate that across the screen. So when I choose this four-sided shape, it's got all the properties on the left side. It's just all the properties of these elements. It's just CSS. It's just a simple thing. Next, what I want to do is how to move it. Let's see. Cool. So this is the simplest thing you can do inside Animate. I've got a div, and I'm going to animate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. 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 I
and the top. So I'm just going to add P frames for both of those. If I zoom down here into the timeline, you'll see I've added those two keyframes to that rounded rectangle, and over time, I can animate them. So, in general, this one is a four-frame rectangle. If I want to do it, I want to移动它的话呢，我在这个左手边这一栏，我看到那个 L 跟 T， 它代表说是左边跟上方，是它的这个定点。我去选择这个定点之后，我改变那个定点，其实我就可以移动了。这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，这样子，Move my timeline to say two seconds, and I'm just going to grab the object and I'm just going to drag it and place it there. And animate does the animation for me. Yeah. So I'm going to do it. 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 So I can play it in the timeline, or the same as Flash, if I hit Command Enter or Control Enter, I can open it up and test it in a browser, and it's running in a browser. The cool thing is, HTML5. Ah, I can run it in the timeline, or I can run it in Flash in my browser. The effect is the same as Flash, but the advantage is it's HTML5. Okay, so that's so simple. That's the most Basic thing you could possibly do with Edge Animate. I'm going to jump out of here for a moment and do something very different with Edge Animate. This is very simple. It is also the most basic feature in Edge Animate. Next, I will introduce some other features. In this folder here, I've got an HTML file and I've got some assets which are just some CSS, some fonts, some images, and some other things. It's just this is just the same as the other things. It's just this is just the same as the other things. It's just this is just the same as the other things. It's just this is just the same as the other things. It's just this is just the same as the In fact, let's just open it up in a browser and have a look. Ah, this document file in it, its content is a very standard website. It is a HTML5 document. It has CSS, it has some images, and it has some text. Let's open it up and see how it looks like. So this is just a normal web page that's already built. It's got HTML, divs, text, images, all sorts of things in it. What I can do is take that page and open it up inside Animate, and here is the page inside Animate, and you'll notice that underneath the Elements window, here are all of the elements on the page that I can start to animate. This is a standard HTML website. It has div, text, image, etc. So I can open this website inside Animate. It has Animate to operate. When you open it, you can see that 右手边这一整栏所有的 elements， 它会把它列出来。So okay, so what I might do on the page here, I've got a few bits of text. I might I might just select these little bits. These are like the latest the latest news bits of text on here. What I want to do is fade them in. When the page loads, I want to fade those up. 所以呢，现在我要做一些啊啊变动啊。我这边呃右手边下面这三个就是呃最新的消息，最新的讯息哦。我们要做的就是，当这个网页打开的时候，这些字它会慢慢慢慢的出现。我们怎么去制造这个效果 ？Remember, this is an HTML page that already exists. This is nothing special. This is just a normal everyday HTML page. 啊，记得哦，这个是一个已经做好的 HTML 的一个网页啊，它并不是有什么特别的，就是我们一般所看到的。So I'm just going to add a keyframe for opacity. Let's just drag along the timeline, maybe to maybe do it over two seconds. I'm going to add. Some more keyframes for each of those, and let's just jump back to the first keyframe, and I'm just going to drop that opacity back to zero for each of those, and then when I play it, my text fades in. So we want to see how we do it. Basically, we start from zero this time period to, for example, two seconds or two seconds after the text fades. I change the opacity, and I just see that the text fades in. This is what we want to see. We want to see how we do it. Basically, we start from zero. Which is sort of cool, but sort of a little bit boring. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this image at the top, and I'm going to place another keyframe here for its rotation, and then I'm going to move along the timeline a little bit, and I'm going to add another keyframe for rotation, and here I'm going to spin that image around maybe 360 degrees, because that would be awesome. <laughs> And then, if I play that in the timeline, because every I think every web page should look like this. 
。好，我们看哦，这样做一些比较有挑战性的一样的哦，就是我们选择这个起点跟终点，然后把它旋转，然后在执行的时候，它就会产生我们要的一个效果了。I am joking, but if you play, should play. So, but I can also add easing to that animation. So easing is like acceleration. So if I zoom into this uh, little panel here, I've got the choice of things like ease in, ease out, and then I've got all of these different styles of ones. I might do something. I think for this one, like um, elastic, I think would be awesome. 同时，我们可以选择说这个文字啊，或者是图板它出现的这个效果。我们看一看。And then, if we see what that looks like, hopefully, in the web page, it's like this. Oh, 